Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a follow-up to my most recent vlog sale video. For those of you who tuned into that vlog sale, thank you so much, and especially thank you to those who purchased an item from me. I am feeling really happy about the items that I let go of. It wasn't easy, but I'm feeling much lighter. I feel that my collection is more curated and just simplified, which feels really good to me, and also the excitement of my buyers who receive their goodies and are really happy and already enjoying them. That makes me really happy to know that these items have gotten a second chance and are being enjoyed by somebody else rather than being stuck in the back of my closet. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the two items that did not sell in the vlog sale. And I'm also going to share with you some other bags that I have had tucked away for a long, long time that I'm finally letting go of. I'm not going to bother selling these bags. I'm most likely going to donate them or maybe gift them away, but I'll show you each one one by one. And I'd love your thoughts as well in the comments below below to hear are you also doing some spring cleaning are you enjoying downsizing and cleaning out your closet do you enjoy curating your collection whether it be handbags or clothes or shoes or any other material items or do you like to be a maximalist and just go all the way and really collect a lot and have as many as you can I mean there's really no right or wrong answer to this right I think that it is all about your comfort zone for me it is about my sanity and my peace of mind I tend to get a little bit stressed out or anxious when I see a lot of material things around me. Even if they're neat and tidy, just seeing the quantity kind of stresses me out. And honestly, I was quite surprised at myself for having accumulated so many handbags over the last 18 months or so. So I really did force myself to be choiceful. So let's get started and I will show you the one item that actually I pulled from the vlog sale. And if you watched, you'll notice what well, you'll know what this bag is. It is the brand new Coach Cassie in the original size. And I say it's brand new because I had actually purchased this as a gift for my mom, but she gave it right back to me because I actually wound up getting her two other bags and she said she didn't need so many bags. So this one has been in my possession for a few months now, but in absolutely brand new condition. But once my vlog sale went live, simultaneously Coach wound up having a massive sale and I do believe it's still going on and select bags including this Cassie went on sale I think it was I don't remember the exact percentage but the original retail price is $350 and this went on sale for $210 so believe it or not uh, there was a buyer who actually paid for this bag and then we quickly both realized oh my goodness there's a massive sale going on and one of you had left a comment on my channel which I saw quickly thereafter and I was like oh my gosh $210 you cannot beat that for this bag the quality the functionality the size it's a really great price already at $350 but for $210 it's amazing. So actually I refunded that um, buyer's money. It all happened within like 20 minutes when we all realized. And uh, I said, yeah, definitely go to the website and get it, get it, get it. So I'm pretty sure she did that and saved some extra money there. And I think I had this on sale for what was it, $300. So you would have saved $50 plus taxes if you purchased from me. But that is not as good of a deal as $210. So I'm no rush. I am in absolutely no rush to get rid of this bag. Part of me thinks I should just keep it and use it, although I have quite a lot of black bags and I don't need it. Um, or I might just gift it if I can think of the right person to gift it to. Or maybe it'll show up in a future giveaway. Who knows? But again, I'm not in a rush. I'm just going to hang on to this. And the other item that did not sell was one of the Tory Burch bags. There was one Tory Burch bag that sold very quickly, but this one here, probably because it is an older bag and it is quite used, I had mentioned that it's in, you know, used condition, there's some fraying and wear, and it's this beautiful smushy bag, but I'm gonna just donate this, or maybe I'll drop it off at um, the thrift shop. It's got worn corners and all of that, so this definitely is gonna go bye-bye. I have a lot of memories with this bag, but I'm not going to hang on to it just because of the memories. And then I have other bags that I didn't show you. This one here, totally random, is a mock croc tote bag in kind of like a blush color. It's got this pocket here. It's got this really pretty pink lining, but this was a free gift with purchase. I think it says here Bloomingdale's. Yeah, so it came with a Bloomingdale's order filled with like beauty samples. And I hung on to it thinking, hmm, maybe one day, but no, I never used it. As you can see, the tag is still on it. 
And because it was a free gift, I don't think this is something that's worth selling. I'm just going to pass it on and drop it off at the thrift shop or um, at the donation center. Then there is another, I guess, tote bag. So for someone who doesn't really like tote bags, right? If you guys know me and my style, I tend to go for mini bags and crossbody bags. Um, I did accumulate, apparently, quite a few tote bags because um, back in the day, I used to have to carry my laptop around for work. And I no longer need to do that. I do everything on my phone. And by the way, I haven't even been to the office in over a year. Um, but I use this a lot because it was a good size. This is a Madewell transport tote. It was actually one of the best sellers for a while. You see, it got really saggy and worn because I used it and abused it. And I actually took this around Paris with me a few years ago. So it was a good um, throw around bag, but I'm not using this. So this is going to go as well. And then, yes, I have more. This is a Tory Burch tote as well in black nylon. And this is um, quite well made. I want to say this is about 10 years old. I use this a lot for work too in my old job. It's got leather handles with Safiano leather. Um, oh, I still have the dust bag. Look at that. So yeah, but it's kind of stained. You can see it's pretty badly stained on the inside. And so this too, maybe I'll try to wash the lining and then I'll drop it off with the other donations. Then I've got some iffy ones. So this one here is a Longchamp bag. I hardly ever use it. It's really old. It was gifted to me. I wouldn't have purchased it for myself. Um, it's, you know, slouchy, the typical Longchamp. I think I'm going to just let this go as well, or maybe I'll see if my mom wants it. And then I have this one here, which I'm probably going to hang on to. So this is a Tory Burch tote as well, equally as aged, probably about 10 years. But it, it has like these fun colors. It's got the Tiffany blue on top and then this really pretty like orangey red on the bottom. So it's a bicolor design. And then it has really nice leather handles. It's kind of like Vachetta color, but I don't think it's Vachetta because it has not, is no patina. It's quite clean looking. And here you go. So this one too, I don't use very much unless I need something for the pool or the beach. And I'll just throw a towel and my kids' swimsuits or sunblock and sunglasses in here. Really easy throw around, maybe a couple of water bottles. It's not meant for a beach bag, but I think the colors have kind of like a vacay beachy vibe. So I have used it a few times for that. It's quite worn as well. So this is a hang on for a little while longer pile. And then I have this one here. Gosh, I think the very first video I ever made on my YouTube channel was of this MZ Wallace tote, which I still think is a great bag. I like, I don't love nylon, but I love the quilting on this nylon. So it still has like a nice smushy tactile feel to it versus something like this. It just doesn't do anything for me. So this is a really great bag. I use this a lot for a rainy day kind of uh, bag. When I went to work, I would throw my umbrella in here. Um, but I have to say, so here are the Vachetta pieces on the top of the handles. Lots of patina, which is fine. I did not baby this bag. You see here the threading is coming loose. Quite a few spots here are missing thread. So I don't know how that happened. I feel like if I bring this into the MZ Wallace store, they will service it. So I'll probably make some time to go do that. But yeah, I'll keep this one. This is a good throw around bag. And then this is actually my favorite tote. I'm definitely keeping, but I just wanted to show you since we're on the topic of totes. I featured this on my channel a while ago, a while ago. If I, if I can find it, I will link it up above. It's so big, it's hard to even get in the camera shot, but this is made of merino wool. It's huge. It's probably bigger than the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM size. I think it goes 24 inches across or something like that. Beautiful black leather handles. This is from a company called Graf Lens, and I love their minimalist sculptural designs. They're based in the US, really lightweight, really simple. It's a huge bag, so this is for very specific needs and has very much fall and winter vibes, so it's not all season. I wouldn't rock this in the summer as an example. It just has like a very hot feeling to it because it's wool, but I love this. I am going to look for a light 
summer tote, like a like a beachy tote, a true beachy tote. Um, but I'm in no rush. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below. I'd love some ideas. I know we are all handbag enthusiasts here. So if you know of any kind of non-traditional, not super designer brands that are maybe boutique-y, um, that make some really nice totes, I prefer it not to be leather and I prefer it not to be nylon. So that, I guess that leaves us with canvas or coated canvas. Um, not looking for a Neverfull. I'm not a Neverfull fan. I think you guys know that by now. Uh, and I'd probably want to stay within like three or four hundred dollars or lower. So if you have any ideas for me, please let me know. Um, but that's it. I wanted to show you kind of where I am with my decluttering. The process continues bit by bit. And it's really allowing me to enjoy the items that I am consciously choosing to keep and to keep using and enjoying. So it has been a good exercise in gratitude and all that good stuff. So let me know your thoughts as well. I'd love to know if you're on a journey to declutter and curate or if you're, like I said, if you're a maximalist, that's great too. I'd love to know. Hope you enjoyed this quick little chit chat video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you are new to my channel and you happen to be a handbag enthusiast, then hit that subscribe button and join. And I have some fun videos coming up next. So stay tuned. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.